Are you considering a Weatherflow Tempest weather station? Well, stick around. That's what I'll be discussing in this next video. Hey, Steve here, K4SRF. For several months now, I've been considering putting a weather station up outside the uh, radio shack here. And so I did my research. I didn't want to jump into it. So I did my research and I looked at the most expensive ones and I decided I didn't want to spend that much money. And I looked at some of the lower end ones uh, cost wise and really decided I didn't want to go that route as well. So I did a little more research and I finally came up with the Weatherflow Tempest. The reviews online for the Weatherflow Tempest were outstanding. I've not heard any complaints, uh, per se, of any, any problems with them at all. And I figured I'd just go ahead and get it. That ordered it. It came in today. And I'm going to go ahead and unbox it and get that thing mounted. And we're going to take a look at what's in the box, how it's mounted, and even take a look at the Weatherflow app. Let's go for it. Okay, my... Uh... Tempest just arrived. Let's go ahead and open it up here. Okay, here it is here, and let's just go ahead and get this unboxed. Uh, you got uh, your setup instructions right here, front and back. I've got your your links to your weather app right here and mounting instructions and all right we'll put that over here for future reference all right here we do all right nice looking unit feels very well made and we have here from what i can remember you've got to point this due true north not magnetic north. You got your wind sensors up here, your sonic wind sensors, which are right up under here. Uh, these are your solar panels right here. Your mount right here, which you can unlock. It tells you which way you turn it to lock and unlock. And this is you can mount it with a screw mount, or you can actually mount it onto. Uh, post with a, it looks like a 3 8 inch bolt. You got your on off switch down here. And it's for accessories and I'm doing all this off of just what I've uh, read about this unit. Okay, taking the bottom part of the box here. Okay, here, just a little questions and comments card. Here we have the hub that goes with the unit itself. Go ahead and just take this out of here. And these really come apart nice and easy when you don't when you don't need them to. Uh, you try and get them done in a hurry, they want to stick. Okay, that's the hub right here. It actually picks up the information from the weather unit. <coughs> Excuse me. Now your power brick and your wall wart, so to speak, right here. It does have the USB-C on it. It'll go into right here.
This right here is the adapter for mounting it on poles. And that's what I'm going to be doing. Uh, I'm going to mount it onto the pole. And basically, <clears throat> your pole fits right into here. Slide that over the slide this over the pole into this area. You mount it to here, and then you slide it up and It's a compression. It's a compression fitting. As you screw it up, the this tightens around the pole itself. Of course, this that off. This just fits right in here as well. Mounts into place. Hmm. Looks like a pretty good unit there. Okay, I've installed the Tempest Weather app on both uh, my Android Galaxy phone and one of my iPads. I may put it on both my iPads. So let's go ahead and just see how it is when we get started. Okay, I created my account on using my Android phone here. So I'm not going to create uh, the account again on the Apple. I'll just use this one to sign into the pre-existing account. But I've already created an account and I'm going through the setup now in the uh, hub setup here for the uh, uh, device itself. I've already got the device plugged in. Okay, got the hub serial number. Now it's searching for the devices. I don't have this turned on yet, so why don't I go ahead and try turning this on. Yeah, we go, got a green light there. Mm, that's correct. Go to next. Next. Searching for a Wi Fi. Okay, put in the password from a Wi Fi. Successfully connected, okay. Well, we're getting there. Okay, we can set so all set. Show me the weather and uh, and information there. And there it is, okay. While well, I erected a mast to a pole, and it's actually about a 20 foot pole, two 10 foot poles connected together. And it's actually inserted over another pole that's in the ground. Now, so it's about 20 feet up in the air, 18 to 20 feet up in the air. Uh, per the instructions, the arrow is facing true north. And if you're wondering how I did that, I used a compass on my phone uh, that is set to uh, locate true north, not magnetic north. And if you're wondering how I mounted the pole and was able to see this so I could rotate this, uh, I got a little ingenious here. I went ahead about halfway down the pole, right about there you'll see, is a bolt. And there it is, that bolt there. What I did was I tied a string to that bolt, ran it perpendicular to the pole itself, I put the uh, locking uh, ring on the uh, pole, attached the tempest, and then I rotated the tempest until that arrow, the true north arrow, was parallel and straight with the string itself. 
And again, once I've got the pole uh, situated and erected, I just rotated it to where that particular bolt was facing true north. Therefore, I know that the uh, Tempest itself is mounted in the correct direction. Okay, I have got the Weatherflow Tempest app open onto a desktop. Uh, you can have it on the desktop, uh, your smartphone, or uh, a tablet. It doesn't matter. You can have all three open at one time. It doesn't matter. You just log in with your registered user name and password, and you get to this information. Here you get to your station's information. Now, it defaults to the weather page, the uh, first of the four uh, links you can go to. I'm going to go through each one of these. Uh, let's start with the weather. And what it does is it shows today's forecast, uh, how it's been all day. And it also shows you the next several days, uh, your forecast for the next several days as well. If you click any of these hyperlinks, it will take you to some additional information, such as uh, your dew point, uh, your pressure, your lightning, winds, and and such. Yeah, it just gives you an idea of uh, uh, more information on the weather than I usually get from most other weather stations or apps. Let's go over to history. Now, history, uh, I'm not going to really have anything. I just have today's history because uh, I've just installed this uh, weather flow tempest um, oh just a few hours ago a couple hours ago and it's going to show you the minimum maximum air temperature right now the average air temperature and this is just outside the house here your relative humidity uh, sea level pressure lightning strikes none wind uh, northeast average is northeast by 0.2 tenths of a mile an hour max is 4.4 rain duration all this other information, which is really good. Each one down here in the bottom, you'll see where it shows that your station's online. And also, I uh, believe you can go ahead and uh, include this station. If you want to go ahead and include uh, a hyperlink in a website or something like that, you can go ahead and include your hyperlink to your station right there. Just cut, cut, or cut and paste that. Uh, now this... Uh, Weatherflow does take an algorithm of other stations in your area, so you get a, a very accurate, uh, localized, really localized uh, forecast of your weather here. Now, let's go ahead and go to map. All right, here's the, my local map here. Uh, here I am right here. And there is one that's not too far from me. It's within walking distance. It says the same address. There it goes. There we go, uh, different address. But um, what's the uh, weather flows uh, apps or the Tempest uh, weather uh, devices are all indicated by these little flags here with the little weather you know symbol on it here. And the interesting thing is you can zoom in and out. And if you zoom out, all these here are actual weather stations. And as you zoom out more, you'll be amazed at just really how many weather stations there are. And that's in the United States. Scrolling out even further, you pretty much can see, and it's going to take a minute, there we go, around the world how many weather stations are. They're all over the place. That's kind of interesting. And you can go into each one of these and uh, check their current weather. If you want, I'll, I'll just pick one here. Let's see if this will work. Okay, here we go. This is uh, JL Pantini Mutual, whatever, Regatta. I'm not really sure. But it's in uh, time zones, uh, uh, Asia, Jakara time zone. Well, it gives you all their information with their weather is and everything. You can do that with most of these weather stations. There are some that they'll, they'll put them in private so you can't see them. But for the most part, they're all viewable around the world. That's the map. Let's go ahead and go to settings. And in settings, you can go ahead and use your stations, your 
this is your station information where you can go into uh, your your personal weather station and make changes. Uh, you can go to smartphone or smart home integrations. This is how you can integrate it with your smart home. In my case, I've integrated with Alexa. Uh, here are your units. You can change these from Fahrenheit to Celsius, uh, wind speed to miles per hour, knots, uh, miles uh, second, uh, cardinal or degrees, rain in inches, millimeters, centimeters. Uh, distance, you can go imperial, metric, you know, rain start, and all this good stuff. So I'm not going to get dive into this too deep and just drag the video out, but you can change all those settings right here. You can be anywhere you, where you anywhere in the world, and you can clock in or log into your uh, site here, and you can change all these settings. But going back to weather, it defaults, like I said, it defaults to the main weather page, and it's basically gives you all the information you need to know. You've got the current wind speed, and all this is current as of uh, your viewing right then. Alexa. Ask Weather Flow what the weather is. Here is a report for Spanish Trail Place. It is 80 degrees Fahrenheit with a relative humidity of 90%. The pressure is 30.05 inches of mercury and steady. The winds are southwest at 0 miles per hour and gusting up to 1 miles per hour. So far today, it has rained 0.21 inches. Expect possible rain today with a high of 82 degrees and a low of 77 degrees. All right, well, there you go. That's uh, from Alexa there, and you can integrate this into your other smart home devices as well. Well, that's my new toy, the Weatherflow Tempest uh, weather station. Uh, it's You can get them off Amazon or from Tempest. Uh, they're not inexpensive. They're not the most expensive weather stations. This one is 329 USD at the time of this uh, video. Uh, so they're not the least expensive weather stations out there, but if you do some more searches online, uh, you'll find out that um, they, they've got a good reputation. They've got a very good reputation. Well, that's all I wanted to show you today, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't, go ahead and uh, subscribe to my channel if you'd like. Leave a comment below whether you have a weather station or do you think it's worth having one? Or if you do have one, how which one do you have and how do you like it? And if you haven't subscribed, subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do so. And click that bell to be notified of uh, upcoming videos. And I'll try to put more videos out if I can as soon as possible. So, until next time, enjoy the airways. This is Steve, K4SRF73.